Well, the biggest cycling race in the Southern Hemisphere, the Santos Tour Down Under, is back in South Australia. It is a terrific event. And for more on it, we're joined by cycling commentator Phil Liggett. Phil, good morning to you. Good morning, Sylvia. Lovely to speak to you again. Oh, and to you. We love that voice on our television. Now, today's race, <laughs> it kicks off the Tour Down Under. It's sort of a prelude to the whole event. What can we expect? Yes, it's called the People's Classic. It's based right here, just off to the edge outside, uh, down by the Oval here. It's a beautiful morning, as you can see. With a high of 29 today, the riders are going to think that they're blessed today. And all of the riders, 139 of them, uh, we lost one, as you know, with a broken collarbone when he was training, Tom Voikler. Uh, but uh, we're going to see a great race, and everybody expects the Clash of the Titans. Andre Greipel, a man who's won 14 legs of the Tour Down Under in history, and uh, Marcel Kittel, who conquered four stages of the Tour de France last year. He's a pin-up boy, and he wants to win here in Australia. Yeah, a lot of big names riding in this year's event, and of course it gets yeah. bigger and bigger every year. In fact, this year, the biggest, uh, the biggest number of competitors we've ever seen. Is there a front-runner emerging, or is it too early to call? Well, I think after the Australian Championships, we're right out uh, by Sovereign Hill, where you were a few moments ago, uh, where we had the National Championships last Sunday. And, uh, in fact, uh, the top three there, Cadell Evans second, Simon Gerrans got the title, Richie Port got the bronze medal. That was a world championship podium. And one of those three guys could be taking this race out uh, a week today. Um, Intruders from abroad, there's some very, very big names spread across the teams. And, you know, there is a British cyclist. Uh, he's Welsh, so we can't compare him with the cricket players. So there's a very good <laughs> chance that Gerard Thomas will win for Sky. Yes, let's hope he's not cursed by the, the English British or the English cricket team curse at the moment. <laughs> uh, this is a terrific event for Adelaide. The city really comes alive every year for it, doesn't it, Phil? What else is, uh, is on offer at the moment, entertainment-wise? The government, the police, the local councils, everybody's been behind this race since inception. So it was always a win-win situation. And now it's got very, very big. Interstate people are coming here, literally in the tens of thousands. Where I'm standing, I'm in the middle of an expo. Just over my shoulder is about $300,000 worth of the finest racing bikes in the world. And uh, they're here to be bought, to play to it, be played with. There's entertainment at all of the towns uh, where we go through throughout the week. There's always street parties. There's always things to do, things to buy, fun to be having. And the weather forecast is just about perfect. It is quite uncanny because three days ago, believe me, we were arriving at the hotel at 10 o'clock in the morning and the temperature was t touching 40 degrees. Now it's down to a pleasant 23 this morning. Very good. The weather gods are shining on you, Phil Liggett. It's always a terrific event and we appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Yeah. And of course it's you can catch, catch all the action from the Tour Down Under right here on Nine throughout the week. I will be watching with great interest. Pete? I could listen to Phil Liggett all day. It's beautiful One voice. One of the great commentators, yeah. along with Richie Benno. Imagine mm. them having a conversation with oh, each other. Yeah, you'd want to be a fly on the wall, wouldn't you? I, w I wouldn't know where yeah. to look. <laughs>